good afternoon guys and welcome back to uh, another vlog so today is monday today i believe is the 19th of monday october this vlog will be a weekly vlog well i will try my best to make it a weekly vlog what's popping like what's going on with y'all how are you guys doing got a couple things to do today mostly on my laptop tomorrow i am going to um meet up with makai and it's content day i've got some other stuff going on at the end of the week but i'll let you guys know about all of that i just thought i'd come and sit down and say hello and welcome you guys to another vlog i'm about to go on instagram stories and do like a mini like primark haul i'm gonna go have some lunch i think i'm gonna have some plantain egg i haven't had that in ages but um yeah I actually went shopping earlier um earlier this morning i haven't had time to unpack the stuff so that is what i'm just gonna do with you guys and share you guys the stuff i've got today i actually went to aldi for once i don't like going to aldi because the queue there sometimes is just a bit ridiculous and especially after this pandemic not after i got these old el paso sauces so i got soured cream and chunky salsa later on i'm actually gonna make some tortillas because i bought some tortilla wraps yesterday bought some cooked and peeled king prawns i bought some grated mozzarella cheese and that is to go in the tortilla as well and then i bought some activia activia yogurts this is the one with yogurt and granola i really really like these then i got some grapes because i love me a bit of grape some cinnamon bagels because who can say no to cinnamon bagels some mixed peppers then um in super drug i got the dove relaxing body wash i absolutely love dove body wash is the only body wash i use i've been using it for years now i would say like maybe four years and it just leaves my skin feeling so smooth and then i picked up this renewing glow one i pretty much picked it up because it was pink i also picked up this cantu oil from this month onwards i'm very much dedicated to growing my natural hair because I just want to put it in a pony. That's pretty much it. But yeah, so I got the tea tree and joba hair and scalp oil. And I really like this one. I've used it before. I'm going to put all of this stuff away. guys can see me i've had to turn on my filming light because it's getting dark outside now and it's only like turning six o'clock like winter is fully here but basically i just kind of wanted to do not a try on but just kind of a get ready with me for content day tomorrow but instead of like my makeup and all of that stuff it's gonna be more like a me packing trying on the outfits this content day is definitely a bit more dressy so we're going to be doing dressy pieces which i don't really get to do most of the time now that the weather has changed and i take most of my pictures outside i'm just gonna try on a few outfits with you guys and like show you guys what it's like me getting ready to shoot some outfits basically um a lot of people just think i'm like influencers just out all the time taking really gorgeous pictures but most of the influencers you know majority of them have content days where they um dress up 
and take several outfit um take several content pictures um in order to post regularly throughout the week or post regularly for you guys that's a lot that goes into content creating and this is all to have content out there for you guys for your viewing pleasure and for you guys to engage with this is outfit number one well one of the outfits i plan to shoot tomorrow so this is a gorgeous um draped um shirt and this is from house of cb i have a couple shirts like this but none of this quality and this material and i thought for a dressy outfit um this would really go nice um i'm considering wearing it with jeans but i don't feel like that would give it its full potential so i'm gonna put it on with some knit shorts and see um how i like it i feel like the knit shorts give it a bit more of a vava voom like a going out outfit I have them in my zara summer haul my bum cheeks are out but um i'm not gonna be turning around in this so it's absolutely fine be thinking gray lace-up heels just to keep the tones very like autumnal if you get what I'm saying, I'm go ahead and pair this outfit with my Jacquemus bag. Yeah, maybe. So this is the next outfit that I plan to shoot in. I'm definitely going to need some nipple tape, nipple cover, whatever with these um with these outfits because there's a lot of breast okay we absolutely love this dress like i think it's so so gorgeous and i love the fact that you can like ruch it up i honestly feel like this is just a bit of me like i honestly love this dress so this is from the brand loud brand loud brand studios and this is the famous what is it called again what's the stress called again vashti bit of difficulty finding what heels will go with this dress i'm thinking my fendi zuka bag would go with this this one yeah i think that would go nicely and some gorgeous heels and you're literally good to go so this is this outfit so this is the third outfit and I'm thinking it's my last because I have a dress here that I wanted to wear but this is more like beach cover-up than a dress so I'll see I'll try some things though okay so this top is from House of CB and I actually um, wore it the other day to my friend's birthday, Getchi's birthday. I think this top is so gorgeous. And I've gone ahead and paired it with these jeans, which are actually from Fashion Nova. Um, so this is what they look like. They're in this gorgeous, like, light blue denim. So the only thing that I'm thinking is not going is these rips these rips are a bit childish so these jeans are actually flare jeans if i didn't already say so i'm going to wear this outfit with these heels which are from public desire and i absolutely love these heels i feel like they will just add to the look i think i can wear it with my jacquemus bag as well these jeans from fashion nova i believe they are in a size size 7 which i think translates to uk 10 or 12. okay guys so i think this is the last outfit i'm gonna wear this is just a very impromptu um makeshift outfit this is just a vest that i have from um collusion collusion on asos and i've just tied it up at the back Honey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I just had it up at the back to make it a crop top, and then just gonna pair with these um, jeans again from Fashion Nova. I saw this look on some Instagram, babe, and I basically wanted a copy. And I think I'm just gonna accessorize with this really gorgeous Cuban 
link chain from this is from by summer and then with my Jacquemus bag and then a pair of heels I think this is just a really gorgeous like simple but bad be outfit got a little bit of waist going on hi guys so right now I am in a boat I'm on the way to I'm on the way to um, meet Makai. Um, I had to had a slight delay because I accidentally left my mask and my bag in the house, and then I got locked out. So yeah, but I'm finally on the way now. Um, it's just gone past four o'clock. I'm going to get there for before four thirty. So I'll see you guys when I get there. I've already done my hair, I'm gonna film and get ready with me when we get there, so I'll, um, that will be on my channel as well, but not in this vlog, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. Hey vlog, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> it's, uh, it's bare dog, you can't even see her, but um, I'll just show you guys around. No, this bathroom's actually really nice. I like the mirror. Mm hmm So this is the bathroom. This is real cute. Oh, they even give Ren body wash. Did you see this, Makai? Um, damn, they said expensive. Well, not much of a view, but <laughs> <laughs> but some nice windows, isn't it? I'm gonna start getting ready, and I'll see you guys when I see you. Good evening guys, how are you all doing? Hi, hello, my skin is looking relatively okay. Considering the fact that mother nature is trying to done my dance right about now. But it's like something o'clock in the evening. I'm not sure what time it is. Sorry to be checking in so late. Today I've just been like, sorting out some stuff tidying up and all of that jazz i feel like i spend my life tidying up and i was watching criminal minds and reed said if you watch criminal minds you know what i'm talking about reed said um the presence of a constant messy room and hoarding is signs of depression um i feel like i'm always tidying up so does that mean i'm depressed i just don't know but anyways i spent the well best part of the afternoon like trying to sort my life out and selling um some coats on my coat rack i sell, sold them on instagram another good reason to go ahead and follow me on instagram because i sold some of these coats and if you don't follow me on instagram you would have missed it um i am going to be selling stuff um some of my stuff on depop um but at a later time but let me know would you rather me sell my things on depop or make an instagram selling page so basically just make an instagram page to sell my clothes which one will be easier for you guys i'm gonna spend the rest of my evening editing 
that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just having a real chill night tonight watching some Corona Wines as well because, yeah, like I said, Mother Nature is just trying to dumb my dance and I just don't appreciate it and the cramps are just, oh. <sighs> Today is a Sunday, Sunday the 25th of October, or is it 24th? I'm pretty sure it's 25th. Going out with Jamila and Peace Fit today. Um, we're going for lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. We're going to the Brazier of Light, the one in Selfridges. Um, so, yeah. Um, the reservation is not till two o'clock but i've got quite a bit to do before i actually go so yesterday i gave myself a hot oil treatment with my hair just to give my hair some tlc like i've decided i'm actually gonna start looking after my hair um the rest of this year and forevermore like i really want my hair to grow i feel like my hair's been a bit stagnant and that's because of my improper care of my hair if that makes sense or me not looking after my hair properly so yeah so i gave myself a hot oil treatment um wash my hair um i gave myself a hot oil treatment wash my hair and then um i left it in a conditioning mask all night so that's what's on my head right now so i'm just gonna wash that out and then get my sister to redo my cameras and then after that, I think I'm going to start getting ready because I'm going to start getting ready at 11 so I can leave the house for, um, leave the house for one. Yeah, I like my pajamas. They're from Primark. I'm pretty sure I showed them to you in Primark. And this was one great little thing. I think it's just so little really cute. So I had a shower. I did a like real good like body scrub today. I've put on some perfume, my Dior perfume. Listening to some bad bitch music and I'm just feeling really, really good, okay? I'm about to get ready. I'm about to put this wig on my head. But like, I thought this wig was gonna be brown, but it's a bit ginger. It's just a bit ginger and it's making me it's not giving the girls what I want, so I don't know. I'm going to wear it anyway because I don't have time to be on in my other wigs. And what I'm wearing, which is... Okay, so I have two options. I have this, which is like a gorgeous like brown um, turtleneck dress from Zara. It's like bodycon. It's really, really gorgeous. Do you guys see what I mean by this wig is like, it's a bit off, but right? it's coming ginger. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what the hell is going on. And it's a bit small as well. So I wanted to do a middle part, but I feel like I'm going to have to do like a side part and then layer it. Lace is also very grey. This wig is re it's not giving the girls right now. I don't know what's going on.
Mina and Peace. And yeah, let me see if I finish makeup here. I need to put some scarlet on because that was what I was going to do. But yeah, I'm really, really liking this hair, even though this is not supposed to be the color of the hair. I'll see you guys when I get there. Janina is running late because the baby decided to go and do her nails now. Like now. Report is the camera only. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Um, no, it's not good morning, it's like good afternoon. Right now I am just enjoying some food. I made myself like this prawn little mix up. Um, this is my lunch basically, so um, after which I'm gonna get on with some work and some more editing and sending out some emails. I'm gonna quickly finish eating and then get on with the rest of what I'm doing so yeah I don't really have much else to say I just thought I would say hello sound like absolute rubbish right now because well i haven't just woken up but this is the first time i'm actually speaking since i've woke up you know like i'm very much a person like when i wake up in the morning i need time to like gather my thoughts it's not just straight away that you just be opening your mouth and doing all that but yeah today is friday i think it is and um i've had well kind of a busy week started off slow then wednesday and thursday i was super busy filming content i filmed a video for revlon which to me is like really amazing i've been using Re revlon since i even i think revlon is the first foundation that i even started wearing i've been using revlon since i was in uni since before then when I was in college as well so yeah um, I filmed some content for Revlon and I did my pretty little thing haul yesterday today I don't really have much to do oh I have to edit my hair video which I'll do after I have some breakfast and then I'm gonna get into some unboxing with you guys I've got um some autumn winter bits that I want to show you guys not loads but just a cheeky like little mini haul some bits from asos and misguided and so yeah but um so first i'm gonna eat continue to edit my um edit my hair video quickly and then i'll get into the um haul with you guys <music>
So I finally sat down and I'm going to get into the boxes. Some of these bits were kindly gifted to me. So yeah, thank you to Misguided and thank you to ASOS as well. So the stuff I ordered from Misguided were two jackets. And I really hope they fit because I have an idea for outfits that I want to put together. And I hope they come to fruition. I hope they look good. Okay, so the first thing I have here is this premium Borg belted aviator. And I got this in a size 10. So my previous aviator that I had from, that I got from Topshop last year, I actually sold it recently. So I'm in the market for a new aviator. And I saw this one on Instagram actually, and I fell in love. But it was actually, I actually saw it on a girl on Instagram in, this might be a bit small, in the black. But, however, the black was out of stock. It was sold out completely. So, I settled for the grey. And they had another colour as well. It was like a beige colour. But, yeah, I wasn't really feeling a beige jacket. Let's try this on. This is what it looks like on. It's just a tad bit tight on the arms. I mean, I could have done with a size 12. I wanted it to go with my Jacquemus bag as well. Like, I'm buying everything to, like, suit this bag because I will wear this bag everywhere. I mean, it's it fits, but, like, does it fit? It definitely fits. And next, I have this um, trench coat, and this is called the the DB Belty PU trench coat and basically I saw something similar on I saw something similar on Chintzia but hers was from weekday and like a hundred and something pounds and obviously this was gifted to me so I didn't pay but still I feel like it's a much cheaper version for practically the same thing so it's this gorgeous tan trench coat and i'm really not the biggest fan of trench coats like i don't i don't think they suit me i think they drown me a bit but when i saw this one i absolutely fell in love and i basically kind of wanted to copy an outfit that i saw chintzia wear and pair this with a gray tracksuit that i actually got from asos this is what the trench looks like i'm absolutely loving the color i do wish again maybe i should have got it in a size 12 it's a bit like tight on the arms um and, and i don't know whether that is the look that i wanted it's really really not that bad and um i'm so happy that i actually got the size 10 because when i first put it in my basket there was only the size 8 left but yeah um i'm gonna show you guys what i want to pair it with then i was gifted some bits from asos so thank you to asos once again i got a couple of bits from asos the first thing I will show you is the tracksuit that I wanted to pair with a trench coat. So this is the ASOS Design Oversized Sweatshirt with half zip in grey. And I got it with the matching ASOS Design Straight Leg Jogger with Deep Waistband and Pin Tuck Organic Cotton. And I got that in a size 10 as well. So I basically wanted to pair it with a trench coat because brown and tan seems to, grey and tan, sorry, seems to work really well together. Really love fleece tops like this. Not everyday hoodie, do you get what I mean? And, oh, it goes really nicely with my hair. Then to pair it with the matching bottoms, which I hope aren't too big or too small. So... 
yeah these will be perfect these are what the matching bottoms look like and they actually come down into a straight leg which oh i love i love straight leg joggers they're everything and more and yeah i just thought that i thought that this this and this would go really nicely together to pair with my white chanel so yeah if you haven't already seen you will be definitely seeing an outfit with that on very soon then i picked up this watch because i've had it in my basket forever and been meaning to check it out but as in check it out but i never did it's just one of their asos design watches so in the meanwhile while i wait for somebody ahem, to buy me a rolex um i'm going to settle for this just needed something to like kind of decorate my arm and whatnot and i had a watch like when i was in uni but i cannot seem to find it so black face gold watch and yeah um it's just really plain um I mean you can hear that right so it's not like amazing quality but it's just something to, for me to be wearing like every day it's definitely a bit big as you can see there so i have to get some links taken off but otherwise it's a really really nice watch and i can't wait to decorate it with uh, my Kristen dior bracelet and some nice bracelets etc next thing i picked up um is another coat and i have had this in my save items for quite a bit and it's very similar to a top shop coat that i picked up last year except in a different color and um so yeah i was waiting for this parcel to come and then i'd seen this on um some instagram babes grazie and her sister grandi i think it is and they are just so amazing like style goals like they just look always so effortless i saw this on them after i'd already ordered it and i knew i made the right decision this is the asos design bonded shearling borg trench coat in dark chocolate and if you've watched any of my recent hauls my pretty little thing haul my zara haul which should already be out you will know like i'm really big into chocolate so so yes this coat is giving me all the autumn winter feels so this is what it looks like and how oh i'm so happy i got this jacket how stunning is this please this is the jacket on this is a size 10 but it's quite big so if you want to get this jacket like there's no need for you to size up because this is a size 10 but yeah i'm so glad i got this jacket it's so gorgeous and the chocolate color mwah, mwah, mwah. all the feels this season i'm absolutely in love last clothing item i got was this pair of jeans which i really hope fit so these are the asos design organic mid-rise 90 straight leg jeans and i got these these are in the light blue and i got these in the waist 30 length 32 so they just look like this a really gorgeous pair of light blue straight leg jeans and i feel like you can never go wrong with a pair of these so i will see how they fit i'm not going to try them on now i'll see how they fit and i'll let you guys know the last thing that i picked up was a pair of boots and i basically wanted to pair these with um an oversized blazer for the brunch that i went to last week however they did not come in time but I'm still going to wear this outfit because it's absolutely stunning. Source Design Claudia Knee High Boots in Black. And I got them in a size 6 because now, um, I don't know if you know, but now ASOS do reviews. So on pretty much all items. So when re reading the reviews, I read that they do come up small so i sized up and they are just basically this gorgeous pair of like knee high um 
kind of stiletto boots I haven't got really like that big of a heel but that's better so i can walk in them and they're kind of pointed here as well in this gorgeous leather and i feel like for the winter time oh honey you definitely need yourself a pair of boots like this they look really really nice on they're definitely a bit a bit cats later but you know how it goes i feel like what I'm wearing now with this outfit is definitely giving Cat Slater. But when I style them properly, you guys will see and get the drift of what I'm trying to do. So pretty much all the pieces that I wanted to show you guys. Just a mini haul of a few autumn winter bits that I wanted to incorporate into my wardrobe. So yeah, I really hope you guys um, enjoy this haul. If you don't see me after this, then I ended the vlog. If you do see me after this then i didn't so yeah uh i need to go to zara urgently because i need to return some stuff so i need to get going so yeah